first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number four on the topic dice so now we are going to solve some of the questions from type number three that is more than two diagrams so friends don't forget to watch all the previous lesson first so be strong on the basics that is lesson number one basics and then watch lesson two lesson three and then be after getting strong on both the lessons watch this lesson number four so only if you learn all the basics and if you watch all the previous lessons properly you can able to understand this concept so in the previous lesson that is in lesson number three i have told you two important points so never forget these two important points so the first point is shortcut how i have told you to apply the shortcut you have to see where the two number is same so which position the two number is same and then from that number you have to write in a clockwise direction so after writing in a clockwise direction you have to check which number is opposite to which number so this is the shortcut i have told you in the previous lesson and the second important property is if there are two phase number is common then what i have told you then the remaining phase will be opposite to each other friends understood if there are two phase in both the diagrams are same then the remaining phase will be opposite to each other so which i have told you in the previous lesson that is property number two so never forget these two points so only if you know these two points then you can able to solve the question from the topic called dice so now let me move on to this type number three example one example number one so what number is opposite to 6? So we have to find what is the number which is opposite to 6. And by using this three diagrams, right? by using the three diagrams, we have to find which number will be opposite to 6. Some students, what they usually do is by seeing a diagrams, number of diagrams. For example, in the exams, you can able to see it can be four diagrams asked. So they think that if there are four diagrams, the question is difficult. If there are five diagrams, then the question is even difficult no not like that if they have given more and more diagrams then finding the answer will be more and more easy why because just see if you have more diagrams then finding which number is opposite to which number is very easy because you, you will not get that much of possibilities you can able to say the direct answer so again i am saying if in the exams even if, if they have given five or six diagrams do not decide that the question is difficult if they are giving more and more diagrams then the answer will be very easy to find even without using the shortcut right so just see our target is to find what number is opposite to six so by seeing all the three diagrams you can able to see in the center diagram we are not having any number six so leave this right leave this b by just try to find the answer by using a and c or else use the diagram b also got it just see in the diagram a we have a number six here in the diagram c we have a number six here without using any shortcut try to find the answer just see here six is adjacent to four six is adjacent to three so what is our target our target to find what number is opposite to six so we can say that from this diagram you can surely say that six is adjacent to four so six is adjacent to three so similarly by using the last diagram where six is adjacent to what two as well as six is adjacent to five just see here friends six is adjacent to four six is adjacent to three six is adjacent to two six is adjacent to five then our target is to find what opposite to six then we know that totally we are having in the cube six faces so six will not be opposite to four because it is adjacent right six is not opposite to three not opposite to two not opposite to five then only one number that we have is one so we can surely say that six will be opposite to one see without using any shortcuts or without using any property we can able to say the answer correctly got it so we can say that answer for this question where six will be opposite to one or else if you want to use the shortcut just see here starting from number six right so starting from what i what i have teach you in the previous lesson how to use the shortcut so see which number is common so six is common here from this number start writing the remaining numbers in a clockwise direction so from number six clockwise direction the remaining numbers will be four and three so similarly in the diagram number three you can able to see six is here so from this point uh, start writing the remaining numbers in a clockwise direction so two and five so two and five so which means just see which means where four is opposite to two so three is opposite to five so six cannot be opposite to six then six will be opposite to the remaining phase that is number one so we can say that where six is opposite to one 
So by using the shortcut, we have solved this question as well as without using the shortcut by just thinking, you know, how to solve the question without formula. So we have solved like that, right? So these are the two ways you can solve the same question in your exams. And some students will ask me one thing that whether I can use the diagram B with any other diagram, whether I can able to find the answer. Is that possible? Yes, it is possible. Why? Because let me take diagram B and C. Right? We have found the answer only by using A and C. But some students will ask me that whether I can use the diagram B and A or B and C to find the answer. Yes, exactly you can find. In case if you are not getting the answer, then go with the remaining possibilities, right? But there is a possible you can able to find by using diagram B and C. Why? Because in diagram B and diagram C, you can able to see the number is 5 is common. Yes or no? So let me write the series starting from number 5. Write the remaining numbers in a clockwise direction. So 5, 1, 4. So 5, 1 and 4. So similarly, here you can able to see the number 5 is common. So from the number 5, write the remaining numbers in a clockwise direction. So 5, 6 and 2. So 5, 6 and 2. So by using the diagram B and diagram C, we have taken the common number and then we have write the series in a clockwise direction. So now you can see where 4 is opposite to 2. Right. So 6 is opposite to 1. So what is the target? We need to find which number is opposite to 6. So we can say that number 1 will be opposite to 6. And 5 cannot be opposite to 5. When the remaining numbers will be 3. So we can say that 5 will be opposite to 3. That's it. See how easy it is. Right. Even if they have given 4 or 5 diagrams, you can take any 2 or 3 diagrams based on that you can surely get the answer. So this is the way you have to find the answer in the topic called dice. That is more than two diagram. So here is the example number two. So by using this four diagram, we have to find which number is opposite to one, which number is opposite to five, as well as which number is opposite to three. Right? Interesting question. So first, let me find what is the answer for what number is opposite to one. So what do you guys have to do? First, see the four diagrams and decide which two diagram or three diagram we can take and able to find the answer right just see in the first diagram we have number one second diagram we don't have number one third diagram we don't have number one and the fourth diagram we have number one so what i can decide here is i can able to try to find the answer by using a and d which number is opposite to one in case if i am not getting the answer then you can able to see which number is another number is common by just referring any two diagrams and you can able to find the answer that is your wish got it so now by taking this diagram a and diagram d where you can see that one is adjacent to which number so one is adjacent to six again one is adjacent to two similarly by using the fourth diagram one is adjacent to three one is adjacent to five just see one is adjacent to six two three and four sorry three and five what is the target? We need to find which number is opposite to 1. Then the remaining only one number that is 4. So we can say that 1 will be opposite to 4. So which is the answer for first question? That's it. Okay. This is the way in the exams you have to find the answer. Second question, what is the number that is opposite to 5? So we have to find which number is opposite to 5. So we don't want to take that diagram A because we don't have that number 5 here. So diagram B, yes, we have number 5. Diagram C, no, there is no number 5 here. Diagram D, yes, we have number 5. So while taking this diagram B and diagram D, just see here, we have two numbers common. So 3 and 5, 3 and 5. So we can't able to say that which number is opposite to which number because two numbers are in the same side. Got it or not? What I have told you that is property. Pro never forget this property. If the two faces numbers are same in both the diagram, then the remaining face will be opposite to each other. Just see here, while taking diagram B and diagram C, right, first let me take diagram B and C. If I take diagram B and C, where 4 and 3, similarly 4 and 3, both are same. If two faces number are same in both the diagram what is the property i have told you in the previous lesson if two number faces are same in both the diagram then the remaining face will opposite to each other so we can say that five will be opposite to six so they are asking which number is opposite to five so we can say that the answer for the question five is opposite to six got it or not right by using diagram b and diagram d you can see three and five so similarly 3 and 5. So it is easy that if two adjacent faces are same, then 1 and 4 will be opposite. So 1 will be opposite to 4. 
Understood or not? So according to the question, what is our target? Our target to find which number is opposite to which number. So we can say that 5 is opposite to 6. So we can say 5 will be opposite to 6 by using that property. So by first question, we have used A and D, right? By Without using that uh, clockwise direction technique, by using that diagram B and D, we can surely say that 1 will be opposite to 4 by using a property. Understood or not? So we can say that by using that property, we have found the answer for the second question. So what number is opposite to 5? Where 5 will be opposite to 6. Got it? So last question, what number will be opposite to 3? So we need to find which number is opposite to 3. Just see here, we have number 3 here. As well as we have number 3 here. So we can go with a clockwise direction. So 3, 4, 6. So 3, 4, 6. So similarly 3, 1, 5. So 3, 1, 5. Just see, 4 is opposite to 1. 5 is opposite to 6. Then what is the remaining number that we have is 2. So we can say that 2 will be opposite to 3. That's it. So this is the way in the exams you have to solve the question. Again I am saying if they are giving more and more diagrams then finding the answer is very simple. You can use any of the 2 or 3 diagrams to find the answer. And that too you can able to find the answer by using this shortcut clockwise direction. Or else without using the shortcut the property by using the property. If two phases number are same in the both the diagrams in the remaining phase will be opposite to each other. By using the property you can able to find the answer or else without using both the methods by just thinking you can able to find the answer. That is your wish but all those techniques will come only in practice. So you have to practice more and more number of questions. So only then you can able to crack the questions in your exams. So friends got it. So that's it about this type number three. Just we have solved only few example questions. So after so next lesson, after teaching the next lesson that is type number four, we can solve many questions on the topic ties. So thank you so much for watching this video. So if you really like it, share the video to your friends, those who are preparing for the competitive exams. So thank you so much for watching it. Bye.